Hi, everybody. I am going to show you how to apply for the 2023 high school scholarship with the Imagine America Foundation. Uh, your first step is you're going to want to go to Imagine America's website, which is www.imagine-america.org. Once you're here, you're going to want to click on the Apply for Scholarships button on the top right-hand corner. Once you get to this page, there will be instructions on how to apply for the scholarship, but go ahead and click this blue button here that says Apply for the Scholarship here. Once you're here, it's going to ask you what type of student you are. You're either a 2023 high school senior, which in this case, this is what we're applying for, or an adult student 19 or older, or a military student, but go ahead and select your 2023 graduating high school senior. The next thing you're gonna do is fill out your information here. I'm just filling out some dummy information, but you can fill out uh, your real information in these boxes. You're gonna wanna select that you're a current high school student. Okay. Um, now, we are based out of Washington, D.C., uh, and so your answers will be different, but um, I'm, again, just filling this out. Uh, you will be asked to uh, provide your email address. and to create a password. This will be used uh, later on when you're logging into your account uh, to check on your status and things of that nature. Uh, you'll be using your email as your username and your password that you create on this page. Next, you're gonna wanna select your program of study. Uh, we have quite a few listed here, um, so try to find the one that best matches your, uh, your program. And then tell us how you heard about us. Um, you know, chances are maybe you talked to a college representative and they told you to apply for this, but maybe you found us on Google or a friend told you about us. Just let us know so that we know uh, how you came to us. I am. Okay, we're also going to ask if you are relocating or need assistance with housing uh, while you're in school and if you would like to receive any information regarding employment opportunities as you get closer to graduation. Uh, you can check either of these boxes. Um, it really doesn't make an impact on your scholarship eligibility. Uh, next, we're going to have to agree to our terms and conditions uh, and allow us to email you with any you know, concerns with your application, etc. Click yes. Next. Okay, great. So this is going to create your login, uh, or this is your your portal page here. So you now have a profile. Um, there will be a pop-up that kind of walks you through how to apply for the scholarship. But I'm again, I'm going to go ahead and go through this right now with you. So what you want to do uh, after you've created your profile with Imagine America is click on your Apply for Scholarships tab over here on the left. What this is going to do is it's going to pull up all of our partner institutions that offer the Imagine America scholarship. So you want to find the campus that is specific to where you are going to be attending. So I am going to the IAF Test College. There will be a little bit more information about the school listed here, but you're going to go ahead and click Apply here. All right, now this is going to ask you to verify a lot of the information you already gave us when you were creating your profile. Um, but uh, it will ask you for a couple other additional questions as well, like when you think you want to start, um, your parent or guardian information uh, it will be listed here as well. And require your parent or guardian email address. Um, it's going to ask you where you went to high school. So this is very important because um, the next step in this application process is actually for your high school counselor or teacher to nominate you for the award. And the counselor or teacher that would be responsible for that will be the one that you list here on your application. So you can see um, I'm going to high school in the District of Columbia. I'm going to the IAF High School of D.C. It's just a test school. Uh, but you'll find your school listed. Once you start typing uh, the name of your high school, you will see a, a number of them populate. 
just find the school that's there. If your school is not listed, you can simply type it in uh, to, into this field and then save the, or when you submit your application, it will be sent to the appropriate place in person. Um, so if you, again, if you don't see your high school listed on this drop down, you can simply type it in and uh, you should be able to submit the application without any issue that way. Um, it's also going to ask you for your guidance counselor's uh, name, phone number, and email. Again, once you start typing your counselor's name, if you don't see that counselor listed, uh, you can simply type in their first and last name and their phone number and email uh, if we don't already have it on file. Um, the next thing it's going to ask you is in two or three sentences, uh, tell us a little bit why you chose to attend the school uh, and how the scholarship would help you. Um, but for this test, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some dummy information. Okay. The next part is that our financial literacy video will play. This uh, two-minute video is designed to help you understand the budgeting, borrowing, and repayment processes of any loans that you might be taking out. It's not meant to overtake anything that your financial aid office is already going to talk to you about, but it's just something that we want you as a nonprofit organization uh, providing scholarship solution we want you to be thinking about. So go ahead and watch this video. Unfortunately, you can't skip to the end. You have to watch the whole thing. It's two minutes long. But once you're done with that, you will then click the submit and complete button. It's a red button that will populate right down here after the video is done playing. Okay, so as you can see, the video is done playing now. And all I have to do is click this complete and submit button to submit my application for the Imagine America $1,000 scholarship. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So the only thing left that we uh, that we ask of you is to refer a friend if you have one you know would benefit from a thousand dollar tuition discount to go to any of the institutions that we provide scholarships to. Feel free to give us their name and email so we can send them a link uh, to apply for the scholarship. Otherwise, at this point, your application is pending review by that guidance counselor that you indicated on your application. So your guidance counselor would have just received an email with instructions on how to go about approving uh, your application. Once the guidance counselor or the high school teacher that you indicated on your application has done their part, their your application will be then sent to the career college uh, that you will be attending for their review. And once they review it, they'll send it back to us and we'll either um, let you know what the status is, whether or not that's, uh, if you've been awarded, we will provide you a certificate and award letter. Uh, but if you ever want to check the status of your application, you can come over here under My Applications and click Active. And this will tell you where your application is. Uh, you know, So you can see here that I had applied today and my application is still pending review by the high school, which makes sense as I just applied five minutes ago. Um, once the application is nominated by the high school, again, it will go to the college. Every college does review their applications differently. So some schools may get back to you within the first 10 days. Some schools may not review your application until you're right about to start school. It is entirely up to the school. So uh, I can't give you a timeline on when the schools will get back to you, but just know that you will be notified via email if you are awarded with your certificate and award letter um, in that email that you would just print off and give the financial aid if you're awarded. Um, just a few other things I want to mention here. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see a tab that says My Profile. You can update any of the information you want to here, including your profile picture. So this is just a stock photo that we put in here, but if you wanted to change it, you can upload a picture here. And then if you have a uh, guidance counselor, so if you, if you applied for this and then realized, oh, wait, I mistyped my guidance counselor's email or... Uh, that actually isn't my counselor, I now go to a different school or whatever it is, you can actually change any of this information in your profile. If you click on that and then go to uh, next, so it asks you about your location, uh, your login information, and then your high school information. Let's say Michelle Daniels is not your counselor, and instead you want it to be uh, Casey um, Hollister, you can make that uh, Casey here. Now you notice Casey didn't come down in the drop down, probably because we don't have Casey on file. So, but you can type in your own counselor's name and information here, and then just make sure that you uh, provide the phone number here and the email. Uh, and then just make sure that you save that information.
So what's happened now is the application has actually been sent to Casey instead of Michelle. Uh, once I had updated that information inside of my profile, it will automatically send that email to the correct uh, counselor in your profile. So uh, that's just something you want to keep in mind just in case, you know, the guidance counselor changed from last year or uh, you realize that it's actually a different person, you can send it to, to a different counselor. All right, one more thing I wanted to mention. If you wanted to, um, let's say you're, you're logged out of your account and you want to check the status of your application, all you have to do is type in IAF, stands for Imagine America Foundation, portal.org, and that's going to take you to your login screen. So you would simply type in your uh, the email you used when applying for the scholarship and the password that you created to log into your account. And then if you wanted to check on your application status, you would just come over here and click my applications. And if your application was awarded, it would be in this complete category. And you're, uh, you can actually pull your certificate and award letter from this uh, drop down right here, these, uh, these icons. If you click on that, it'll download them for you. Uh, but you should also receive an email with the certificate and award letter uh, in your email whenever the college and Imagine America has made a decision on their scholarship application. Um, with that being said, I just want to thank you for taking the time to learn how to apply for the scholarship. If you need to contact Imagine America, I will put that in the caption below this video. Uh, so feel free to, to call us or email us with any questions you may have. Thanks.